Now that you are thinking about what your home needs to do, you can start thinking about what it's going to look like. So let's get started finding your style. Binge, inspiration overload, go for it. I give you my permission to spend hours on the internet, on Pinterest, watching HGTV or that Fixer Upper Marathon, read design magazines, go to home shows, indulge yourself in all of your home fantasies. You are, after all, building your dream home. So start dreaming. While you are binging, think about your wow moments. This is how I start. Typically, people wanna get right down to brass tacks and start with a floor plan and finishes. This is not a great idea. A 10 by 10 room means nothing to most people. And the biggest regrets I hear are floor plan issues that later don't fit their vision. So figure out some of your wow moments first. Where's the focus in the house? Do you want a specific grand entrance? Certain sight lines, maybe a large fireplace, a certain kitchen layout, or a specific flow between spaces? Start there. Let your wow moments define the direction of your home. I do my inspiration searching on Pinterest. If you don't already use it, I would highly suggest getting it. This is the best place to find and organize inspiration. Organization is the key here. I find lots of inspiration in magazines, on Instagram, and other social media sites, but then I have to organize it myself. Lame. Nothing is worse than scrolling through your entire photo gallery on your phone to find the inspiration while your contractor's looking over your shoulder and you're like going through your kid's dance party. You get all flustered. You can't find it. Don't do that to yourself. Get on Pinterest and start creating boards. You can be as specific as you want and get yourself organized in whatever way works best for you. I think breaking it down into categories is best. So I have a separate board for kitchen, bathroom, mudroom, living room, bedroom, exterior, whatever whatever you are particularly excited about designing. I have so many boards, so it's totally okay. There is an inspiration for every nook and cranny that you could possibly think of. Again, organization is key here. I would rather see 20 boards with 10 pins each than one board with 200 pins. It's hard to go back and reference something when you have to sort through all those images. You lose your focus, you get frazzled, it's never good. That being said, and this will seem counterproductive to what I just said, but if there is a detail that you want to reference in two separate spaces, pin it twice, one on each board. You do not want to hop from one board to the other while you are trying to get your point across. The end goal is to have a board tailored to what you want your space to look like with only the images that you would show a design professional or contractor as reference for what you want to do in your space. So start with a wide net, but then edit like a boss. Pin everything that speaks to you. The more you pin, the more tailored your feed becomes. When you find a post that you like, Don't forget to scroll all the way down to the bottom and look at the more like this section. It is seriously a rabbit hole that you might not ever come out of. There is also a comment area, so take notes. What is it that you liked about this image? The whole thing or just a small detail? Make a note so that when you look at it later, you don't waste your time wondering what did I even like about this? You can't remember, so then you delete it, and then later you want to reference a certain design detail and you can't find it because, oh yeah, I deleted that picture. It's not uncommon at all to combine multiple inspiration images into one design. I like the cabinet color of this one, the style of this one, the general layout of this one, and the backsplash of that one. That is totally normal. Put them together and then that's how your whole design becomes unique to you. Be specific about what you are looking for. If you know you want a gas fireplace with built-in cabinets in your living room, type that in. People think they need to have such a broad search, um, which might be good when you're starting, but if you know what you want, go for it. You don't need to see every option in the book to know what you like. There are already way too many options, so do not overwhelm yourself. Use your words. If you know which style you are leaning towards, use the correct design terminology. Contemporary, traditional, minimal, rustic, clean, whatever. The right words will narrow down your search extensively. And if you don't know the right words, we're gonna get to that pretty soon. You can share your boards with your partner, your designer, your contractor, whoever you want to see where you are going with your inspiration. 
I always share boards with clients so that I can quickly scroll through and see what they're looking at and maybe suggest other ideas or references. If you are having a hard time finding inspiration, feel free to use my boards on Pinterest at Bee Design Coaching. There's a lot of good stuff on there. It is years of inspiration research. I keep it myself as a reference to pull from for myself and for clients, and I continuously add to it. So it is a curated collection of good design and a great place to start if you need one. If you are old school or just don't like Pinterest, that's fine too. You can rip pages out of magazines, take photos or screenshots, anything that speaks to you, save it. However you wanna do it, the same principle applies. Find inspiration images and organize them. So now let's look at all those images. You've pinned like crazy. You have boards full of beautiful inspirations for every area of your home. Now go back and look at them again. Do you still love them all? Get rid of any that make you hesitate, that you are not 100% in love with. Be ruthless. I am sure you have so many pins, so start narrowing them down. Do you see any patterns in your pins? Clients will say, I don't have a style, I'm all over the place. And then I look at their kitchen board and it's all white cabinets or similar door fronts, or maybe they have shelves instead of cabinets. That is enough to start with. That is already pointing towards a style. In our discussion about designing around wow moments, I also want to note that not everything can be a wow moment. So in your inspiration images, pay attention to everything else that happens around that wow factor. For example, you install a beautiful statement hood in your kitchen. So what do the cabinets look like? The countertop, how do they not pull attention? What the background materials look like and how they support the main feature is just as important as that wow moment. These are the things that people don't notice and that is intentional. So you don't really think about them, but get it wrong and it sticks out like a sore thumb. Keep refining your inspiration and style until it's obvious. You should be creating a home that is undeniably you. 